What is a neighborhood of a point? This is a simple but helpful definition in our study of real analysis. Recall the definition of the limit of a sequence. We say that a sequence AN converges to a limit A if for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists some point in the sequence after which every term of the sequence is within epsilon of the limit A. This means that every term of the sequence after this point is within what we would call an epsilon neighborhood of A. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing the definition of the limit of a sequence, but indeed this definition involves the idea of a neighborhood, even though it doesn't mention it explicitly. Here is what a neighborhood is. Let epsilon be greater than zero. Then we would say that the epsilon neighborhood of a point a is the open interval from a minus e to a plus e. It can simply be thought of as all real numbers that are within a radius epsilon of the center a. And we can see that in this diagram here. The epsilon neighborhood of a is all real numbers within a radius epsilon of the number a. And again, this is an open interval. So the number a minus epsilon and the number a plus epsilon, these are not part of the neighborhood. And let's just be super specific in case you don't remember precisely the definition of this sort of open interval. The open interval from a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon, that is the epsilon neighborhood of a. And by definition, this is the set of all real numbers, we'll say x, such that a minus epsilon is less than x, and x is less than a plus epsilon. So these are just all the real numbers within epsilon of the center A. And a handy way that we can denote this epsilon neighborhood of A is like this, big V subscript epsilon of A. For example, we could consider the one-half neighborhood of one. This contains all real numbers that are within a half of one, which in interval notation would be the open interval from one-half to one-and-a-half, or three halves. And that's what it would look like in set builder notation. So I hope you'll agree that the idea of a neighborhood is pretty straightforward. The epsilon neighborhood of a point is just all numbers within epsilon of that point. We can use this definition of a neighborhood to slightly rephrase the definition of the limit of a sequence. So instead of saying that our sequence a n converges to a if for all epsilon greater than zero, then every term of the sequence after some point is within epsilon of A, we could say that our sequence converges to A if for all epsilon greater than zero, there is some point in the sequence after which every term is within the epsilon neighborhood of the limit A. Every term of the sequence after a certain point is within epsilon of the limit. So these two definitions are precisely the same, it's just the second one that uses neighborhoods. One last thing I want to point out, notice that in this diagram we're representing the neighborhood of A using a circle on a number line. And this is fine if we're just focused on a single point on a number line, but it doesn't work quite as well if we're looking at a graph on two dimensions. For example, in this picture, we have the terms of a sequence, all of these black dots, and the sequence appears to be converging to a value of 1. And I've represented the epsilon neighborhood of 1 using this purple band that just goes on and on horizontally, but maintains the exact same vertical dimension this entire time. It would not be accurate to represent this epsilon neighborhood using a circle, because now that we're on on a sort of xy plane, drawing this circle around 1 to indicate the neighborhood also implies a restriction on our x-axis. It makes it look like we can't leave this space of the circle, uh, but we certainly can. So since we're not on a number line anymore, we have to use this band to make it clear that any point on this x-axis is allowed. It's just the y 
coordinate which is being restricted within the neighborhood of one. If we wanted to insist that all the x coordinates also exist in some neighborhood around a point, we could do that similarly using another band that continues infinitely in the vertical dimension, but the horizontal dimension would be fixed. We would be insisting that every x coordinate is within some horizontal neighborhood. Maybe this would be a delta neighborhood of some x coordinate we could just call x. So the center would be x, we'd be going out to x minus delta and going out to x plus delta. And that's what the neighborhood of a point is. The epsilon neighborhood of a point A is just all real numbers within epsilon of the number A. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions.